Hello, my name is Wendy Clark Getson. I'm the Tribal Transportation Program Manager for the Jamestown Slalom Tribe. We have a project that's called the Commute Trip Reduction Survey and Mobility Plan for the Jamestown Slalom employees. We are requesting $78,375 to produce a planning document so that we can adapt um, commute trips for the second largest employer in Clallam County. Um, and this would be a near term biennium 2023 to 2025. We have over 950 active positions located mainly in Blinn, but also in Carlsberg and Swim. Our Seven Cedars Resort positions are the hardest ones to adapt a mobility plan around. With incentives, we are still struggling with trying to get people out of their cars and maintaining their jobs for longevity. Uh, first lap mile and last mile opportunities are difficult within this area. And I think we agree that we cannot rely on Clallam Transit alone in order to produce the trips for our employees. And we also have done a great job of building the Olympic Discovery Trail, but that alone doesn't work. What is a mobility plan? Uh, it needs to be manageable and flexible as we develop the tribal lands and we have new rural locations um, that need to have a CTR program. We would like to address the coordination between our businesses, our work groups, our enterprises to create the most efficiency and time savings for the employers as well as for the management team. Um, as I mentioned that the, the enterprises and work sites are many places throughout East Clallam County. This is a, um, a, a snapshot of a very limited area where you can see where the yellow shading, the green shading um, of parcels is the locations of where we have many employees and I've listed them there. Um, we have Carlsberg Jobs, Seven Cedars, <clears throat> Dental Clinic, Health Clinic, many others. As far as the milestones, we would like to begin this project immediately upon receiving the grant, uh, develop a short list, kick off our meetings with our management team and HR, get, start issuing uh, the products that we need to hear from the employees, and start drafting a draft drafting a mobility plan no later than May of 2024. In that plan, we would like it to have recommendations on how we should proceed on the type of mobility, and it could come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, and determining how we approach our partnership with Clown Transit System. What could that look like? We, have, we know that van pools work in some situations, CTS has a van pool program that is very good and that we could participate in some sort of hybrid model. We could ask for um, employees to ride share and help them uh, participate in the cost of them getting to work. We can also make an EV investment and find ways to bring EVs to job groups that would not normally be able to afford an electric vehicle. And what does this get us um, beyond uh, stability in jobs and our economy? It also helps us reduce the carbon to achieve the tribe's 2032 goals for being carbon neutral. This project has a lot of overlap with the Human Services Transportation Plan. We have an opportunity to touch upon many um, barriers and reduce those barriers by increasing the hours of service, increasing the days of service, the operating frequency um, in new areas of Clallam County that are underserved, uh, uh, helping uh, out with volunteer drivers um, and helping to participate in the cost of that driver to be trained and the cost to run their car. Um, and to be able to you know, develop some new ways that we deal with first mile, last mile, Think that Clown Transit is working on a similar program, we, we would like to support that. And obviously to deploy zero emission mobility options is in the near future and we think that those can be available through this, these recommendations. So that's the end of my presentation uh, for Jamestown Spalum Tribe, the second largest employer in Clown 
county, this planning document sets the tone and gets us going to be able to better serve our employees.